everybody, it's Aiden or Adore LEGO Studios and welcome to episode 7 of Building Sorghum. Now in this episode we begin to see like more of the ground level of Sorghum be laid, I guess you could say. So basically just a basic like first layer of plates is almost coming to a finish. Definitely going to be finished within the next two weeks is my hope. And then we can start working on the huts, focusing on the huts, focus on the barricades, focus on the ponds, um, just all like the more fun stuff with Sorghum. So it's definitely going to be very important for that. I'm going to get two BrickLink orders in this segment, which are going to definitely help towards that, as I basically do not need to order any more reddish brown bricks. Maybe like some one by twos and some tiles for like texturing, but not going to need much more. But as you'll see, I'm going to definitely need some more dark tan. So look forward to an order coming in for that in the next one or two um, weeks, probably. Also. I will be able to work on Sorghum a lot more now as basketball season is over. I have so much more time on my hands. So I definitely expect um, there to not be that many breaks in Sorghum. I think I've taken one or two weeks off and that's it. Um, but expect there to be a lot more progress like per week, I guess you could say. Um, as Now I'm going to be able to work all hours of the week probably. Well, not all hours, I guess, but a decent amount more than I used to. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the episode and see all what I got done. All right, guys, and to start off with this week's episode, we actually have two BrickLink orders. They're both about $40. Um, this one on the left is from Blaine's World. You guys might know him. He's the leader of Empire Log, also runs Blaine's World Lego. Uh, but he was able to get me about 730 pieces for about $43, if I remember correctly, which is a great deal, for, especially considering the size of some of the pieces I got. And this one, I have no idea what seller it's from, to be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the smaller one. Uh, they're both the same size technically, but this one has more pieces if I remember correctly. Alright, so to start off this order, I did end up getting some more wedge plates. Um, the reddish brown and dark tan variety. Mostly just reddish brown. And then there's a few dark tan plates in here. Now if you look inside of here, here's a lot of smaller, um, like 1x2 and 1x3 and corner pieces for plates for both reddish brown and dark tan. As I discussed in my last episode, I needed a lot more than I thought I had already. And here we have some more reddish brown plates. There's tons in here actually, um, along with some olive green and dark tan. That's some of the bigger types. Now, right here, which is the big reason I ordered all this, we have these, uh, all right, we have two eight by 16s in here. And I'm pretty sure these are six by 12s in here. Um, it looks like, just guesstimating, there's 11 of these and two of these, so that would definitely help clear up the pathway. Now anyways, let's go ahead and get into this order from Blaine. Now this one is much larger. I'm just going to dump it all right here and then I'll go through, actually I'll dump it off the side. Now you'll notice one recurring theme with this order, uh, which is reddish brown plates. So here I got some 4x10s from Blaine. Now in here, is some more 4x10s from Blaine. And I think there's like 75 of these in total, if I remember correctly. And the crazy thing is these were in like 9 cents each. So that's definitely a bargain to cover up a lot of area. Now in here we have a bunch of smaller parts to get and take these out. We have, I think I ordered 120 um, dark tan 1x4s. This is to use for the hut. This is what I'm using for the walls of the hut. Um, some reddish brown 2x2s for detailing and just filling in all the groundwork. Then we have some ladders to make the barricades and some fences around um, the huts. And now we also have a bunch of antenna bars in reddish brown, if that will focus. And of course, the most important part of this order, four tree leaf pieces. Some more um, dark brown plates. These are one by eight, I think, in dark brown. Some olive green one by twos. Some two by three um, dark tan wedge plates. Some reddish brown cheese slopes, reddish brown bars. Uh, reddish brown one by six tiles. Looks like about 15 in there is my guess. More dark tan wedge plates, some uh, reddish brown 1x1s, some reddish brown 1x2s, some reddish brown 1x3 tiles for ground texturing, and then here is, um, wait, wrong card, 
Here is Blaine's information if you want to find his store. You can find it on Instagram or on Bricklink, obviously. And lastly, what I got from this order from Blaine is all of these 2x4 reddish brown plates. So it turns out that I actually forgot a bag from the other order to show. Uh, and that is all of these dark tan and reddish brown, just random assortment of plates and bricks. And then there's also some barrels in here. So anyways, this is a lot of parts. Um, as you tell, I think it's like 1300, 1200 around their parts for all of this and it's only like 80 bucks. So that's definitely a great deal, especially considering I got 75 of these. This isn't even 75, like you need to put it in another bag um, for like nine cents each. And these dark tan plates are definitely gonna be a big help. So now I'm gonna sort this out and I will be doing a time lapse for this. So stay tuned for the time lapse coming up. Alright guys, so this is all I have done after that time lapse. So basically, I'm out of dark tan again, and I still have all of this that I need to cover. So definitely gonna have to do another order for that. Um, as you can see, it's all my dark tan I have left. So it's not that much ex exactly. I mean, I have all this one by fours, but that's for the hut. However, I still do have a decent amount of reddish brown left, I guess. So I'm not gonna have to get any more orders for reddish brown probably. Maybe get some like one by twos for texturing. Speaking of texturing, um, along this like divide of dark tan and brown, I went ahead and started texturing just so that way you guys can see how the break is gonna look uh, and the transition in colors. Also threw in some olive green right there. There are parts of the center probably to go through and like refix like, um, I don't really like how this section looks right here. And, um, but besides that, I think it's pretty decent. And I also went ahead and filled off the rest of the top of the hut with those like modified slopes that I could. And it's definitely uh, taking shape now. Like I'm really liking how this is looking so far. So let me figure out how I'm gonna do that top. But definitely excited for how it's looking. I added in some barrels right here. Um, the plan is to get some um, like krill looking pieces since they don't make like like a krill. Um, since this is a krill farm and put in the barrels. But basically, I've um, searched out this reddish brown all the way down to here so it's going to end here uh filled in this pond i instead of using transclear tiles i use transclear plates for this section uh, and i'm just going to mix them in on both scenes like or not scenes on all three of these ponds and the other ones can make over there that way it just looks more natural um so basically that's all i got done and one more thing I added this patch of tiles right here. Of course, it's not gonna be like all flat and then just these tiles are texturing all around here so it's gonna uh, fit in more nicely. So right now it just sticks out like a sore, sore thumb. But basically, yeah, that's all I got done. So in this episode, um, I could have just ended it here, got the video out on Saturday, but I figured let's go ahead and get some more done than just this. Um, so there's a couple things that I will be working on. I don't know how much I'm able to get done tonight. That honestly just determines um, what I do start working on. But I could end up working on this hut over here um, since I have some more dark brown pieces. No, not dark brown, reddish brown pieces. Um, I could start working on some of the designs for like the barricade. Probably not though, as I'm still really stuck on that as well. So if you guys have any designs, be sure to comment down below or like send me a message on Instagram if you have an idea. And uh, extend out this reddish brown section and 
I can put reddish brown underneath all of this since you won't be able to see the bottom that well anyways and I just have tons left over. So I ordered like 75 of those 4x10s, probably only used like 30 to 40 so far. I'm um, also going to have to fill in that area. So that's basically all I have to do. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next yet, but I'll just update you when I um, choose what I'm going to work on next. Alright guys, so here's everything that I've gotten done. It's not that much, honestly. Um, I'm going to work on this more later today. I'm just going to film this um, and end it off here. That way I can get this out on Sunday. Um, because if I keep on working, there's a chance this could not be got until Monday. So there will be a lot done um, for next week's segment. Like, I'm going to go ahead and start working on that hut over there. Um, between now and the next segment, I'm going to finish detailing all of this reddish brown area over there, over there. Um, and I'm also going to put in some rich brown over here, start working on plant life, finish putting in all of the areas where the ponds are going to go. Like, we're going to have a lot done, and I'm definitely going to get some more dark tan. So, like, my goal is, like, within the next two weeks to have the base layer for everything to be covered down. That way I can go into, like, detailing and putting in, like, grass and then putting in the barricade. So, basically, everything will just be bonus on then, and then we'll get into the interesting stuff. Um, so, I'll go ahead and update on the... I only did like two things really that like I can remember since I last updated, but I went ahead and put where all the huts are going to be. So if you guys don't know, I'm using um, hoses for these and then putting clips around on the inside. Um, the only problem is I ran out of clips over here. I still have a decent amount of one by fours. I'm probably still going to need to get more, especially to finish that one. Probably going to finish that one with that amount of one by fours. Um, but on this one, I used different size um, hoses than on this one. So these will be like more circular and round and like this one's way smaller. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but it's definitely way smaller. And it's more of an air bagger shape. So it'll just be like one of like the smaller huts, I guess, because it'll be kind of boring if they're like all the same size. Um, because I use these white hoses, whereas on this hut I use these like brown hoses. And then lastly, I went ahead and added in this pond on the right side. So now we're officially working on the right side. Um, so I'm probably going to finish off all this area, now I can just move this two section base plate like off somewhere else and then s scoot this one closer and now I can start working on it like easier so I don't even like reach over every single time I want to place a brick. But basically I started laying out where one of the ponds is going to go, I have all of the dark brown layer down, I just need to get the tiles um, and then I'll go ahead and probably add a pond in like right here and then another one like here. Um, or I probably just have two on this side actually because I would like to have one here, but that'd be crossing over the middle now it'll just be too complicated um, So basically that's all I have done But be sure to stay tuned for next segment because next segment is going to be probably the most I'll get done <laughs> in like a long time um, So anyways, yeah, let's go to the after of the video All right, so that is all for this week's of Sorgan. I hope you guys enjoyed um, so definitely be looking forward to the next week as I'm planning on getting a lot done Like it's be the most progress I've gotten done in one single episode is my plan probably gonna be doing a brick Bricklink order. I don't know if that's gonna get here in time probably not So just be working with the pieces I have and seeing how far I can go with that now I have a general like layout of where I want everything to be I could work sections at a time instead of working from like the left side of the mock all the way over to the right side of the mock Which is definitely gonna help me make more progress and more things to work on I'm gonna be working on that um, hut that I showed in the last episode, I believe. Um, the one that Cara Dune and the Mandalorian end up staying in because it looks different and I even think it's a different color from the other huts. I'm definitely gonna try and get more work done on the huts, uh, like start texturing the side of the huts, gonna add in ponds, gonna work on the grass area. So there's lots that I can get done next week. So definitely be tuned for that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And I'm Adore Lego Studios, and I'll see you next time. Adios.